The tournament in Memphis cooked up a treat for the fans with some of golf's best players filling the fairways. But children were at the heart of the St. Jude Classic presented by FedEx. Settle in as we rewind the week with the latest edition of Monday Backspin from PGATour.com. Barbecue and blues are the constant beacons of Beale Street. But during the tour stop in Memphis, the rendezvous centered on children, charity, and plenty of chip-ins. Chip-ins for Eagles for St. Jude. Hi, I'm Wynne McMurray. The week began with the emotional return of Phil Mickelson, who took time away from the game to be with his wife, Amy, after her cancer diagnosis. I've never felt this emotional. You know, I've never been that, you know, this emotional where, um, you know, if I'm driving alone or what have you, I'll, I'll, I'll just start crying. It's just, it's a kind of a weird thing, but I'm looking forward to having a four or five hour uh, mental break, if you will, where I kind of force myself to focus on something else. From Rancho Santa Fe, California, Bill Mickelson. His return was heavily weighed, and with his family's support, it was a welcome distraction before Amy's treatment began. These are some pretty cool kids here. They've uh, they've been going through something very similar that we're going to go through here in a few weeks, and so uh, I'm, we're, we've got two weeks here where I'll play the Open. We've got a family trip right after, and then we'll get started. The St. Jude Classic for the last 39 years has been the tournament's sole beneficiary. St. Jude's mission to find cancer cures and save children. It's about the kids, from turtles to eagles. It was a week of reflection of what's important in life. Whether it's making people smile with outrageous fashion statements, as John Daly did in his own return to the PGA Tour, or by touching a little one's heart as a real-life superhero. It's, it's great to be here. This tournament is for a great cause. Uh, St. Jude is an unbelievable place. Uh, and man, what great work they do there. And uh, I'm very proud of uh, being part of the program where I contribute every time I make an eagle. I had an eagle putt there on 16, and, I, and man, I wanted that one to go in so bad. And then, uh, guess what? Then on 17, I hit a perfect eight iron, and uh, it happens to go in. So uh, it's fun. It's fun to, every time you have a chance to make an eagle. It, it goes through your head that you, you can help those kids that, were, that, that need it, and uh, it, it just pumps you up. It's awesome. Even severe weather that plagued the event couldn't keep volunteers from showing up to work and fans from supporting a greater cause. The St. Jude Classic has generated more than $21 million to the fight against childhood diseases. And while there is only one king in Memphis, Brian Gay became part of the royalty in Graceland, a king to the kids of St. Jude. Bob Stevens of the PGA Tour Network shares his thoughts on the week. When this St. Jude Classic presented by FedEx is not so much about this beautiful little seersucker jacket that the winner wins, although it is pretty darn spiffy. It's about the caddy bibs. St. Jude kids, the kids over at the hospital decorate the caddy bibs and they are such a part of this tournament. They are such a part of all the smiles that go on around this tournament. They're the ones carrying the bags during the Pro-Am on the 11th hole for the pros and the amateurs. They get a big kick out of that. They are the ones that when Rich Beam came to visit them, made him leave with a smile with all of their words of encouragement. There have been smiles all over this tournament all week long, even with the big storms that came through here on Friday night. Volunteers who had lost power were out here at 7 a.m. Saturday morning saying, ah, we'll clean up the yard later. They wanted to be here to help this community event. So now the pros, what happens for them? Ah, a bunch of them head off to the U.S. Open at Beth Page Black. Of course, still, for a lot of them, it'll be a well-deserved week off ahead before the sprint to the finish of the PGA Tour playoffs for the FedEx Cup coming up in two weeks at the Travelers Championship. Win? Thanks, Bob. Up next, Tiger Woods defends his U.S. Open title at Beth Page Black. Coverage of the People's Open begins Thursday.